Today we're going to be making Rocky Road or in Kai language Rocky Road. This is going to be the best Rocky Road you'll ever have because we've tried lots of different ones and this is by far the best and it's also the best thing we've ever made on this channel. These are the ingredients that you're going to need. First you're going to need 125 grams of butter. Then 300 grams of dairy milk chocolate, 3 dessert spoons of golden syrup, that's the really big one, 100 grams of rich tea biscuits, 2 handfuls of marshmallows, 2 handfuls of raisins, extra chocolate for the top, and icing sugar. Put 125 grams of butter in the saucepan as normally half a packet 125 grams is normally half a packet it's quite easy to cut break the bits of chocolate up and put it into a pan if you run the spoon under boiling water then it, it runs off it a lot faster um so yeah you're gonna want to put three um Dessert spoons of golden syrup, or if you don't have any, just different <laughs> syrup, um, into the panny thingy. Turn it on to a low heat, and I'm using this wooden spoon because I broke the other ones. Um, but then just stir it. <laughs> Mum will get copyrighted. Put a hundred and uh, just a hundred grams of rich tea biscuits into a plastic bag and then hit with a rolling pin. I don't want yours to crush. Take off the heat and add the best it get. Add two handfuls of marshmallows. <laughs> that didn't happen. This is optional, but if you want, you can put two handfuls of raisins in. I know my friend doesn't like raisins in them. There's one left. <laughs> and then stir. Butter the baking tray or anything suitable that's a rectangular shape. Pour the mix into the baking tray. <laughs> now, with the back of the spoon, push it down and make it even. This part makes um, our Rocky Road unique and special. So we're going to put in about 100 grams of chocolate. That much butter, however much that is, just a wee bit. Uh, into a pan. And you're also going to put a squirt of syrup. When it's melted, it will look like this. Spin it out and get it onto the this thingy and spread it with the back of the spoon as a topping. When it's done, it should look like this and then you're going to put it in the fridge for two hours. Don't go yet because there's still more. And before we finish the rest of the video, I'd like to say if you enjoyed this video please subscribe to my YouTube channel and like this video also um I have made a banana loaf and a and cookies or cook eyes and they're very tasty so if you want to make some of them as well then just go on to my channel and make them been about two hours and ten minutes since we put it in the fridge. Now we're gonna sprinkle some sugar onto it to make it tastier. Now, um, you could have cut this before or after you put the sugar on. It doesn't matter. Just. Cut it before or after with anyone that you want. This is so good that would go down really well with a cup of tea. Mm. Thanks for watching. Bye.